Today, I'm going to show you what you should check just in case your sewing machine starts skipping stitches. Let's take a look. These are the items that you're going to need to clean out lint out of your sewing machine. Can of air, different screwdrivers. I find the short ones very helpful. A pair of tweezers. The curved tweezers actually get into places a little bit better. And some clean paper towels. If you sew as much as I do, you are going to have fabric lint underneath your machine. Um, this is called the throat plate area, um, and this is my industrial straight stitch machine. And I've done this. I cleaned my cover stitch machine out and forgot to show you guys, so I'm going to show you on this machine. So first off, you need to make sure that your needle is up. So lift your needle up, and then you're going to lift up your pressure foot and you're gonna take a screwdriver and you're gonna push this plate out. And then you're gonna take your screwdriver and you're gonna unscrew these flathead screwdriver pieces right here and take them off. I don't ever do mine very tight because I can never get them off. You gotta do them somewhat tight. See, you can already see some of the lint inside the screw itself. Let's do the other side. I'm trying to shoot this so my arm's not in your way. I don't know if it's working very well. And little flat, short screwdrivers actually work really well too. This is my little baby screwdriver. I use this a lot. It's harder to get into things without it. See, you can tell I got in there a lot easier with this screwdriver. Okay, let's do it right. Clock to lock, unclock to unlock. Oops, I'm locking it. And also one-handed just to show you is kind of tough. And then you can just use your finger if you get it far enough. So don't lose these screws. You're gonna lift up the pressure foot and you're just gonna pop this plate off and the thread's gonna come out with it. So you're gonna take your paper towel and you're just gonna hold your uh, throat plate out and then you're just gonna wipe it off. If you need to get that little screwdriver in there and clean it off, you can do that too. See, there's little pieces of glitter inside there that I'm just gonna rub off. So let's get this side and let's get this side. So since that fabric lint was compacted in there so badly, it's in there really good. I think you can see it. So now you're gonna take your bent tweezers because that'll get in there really nice. So you're going to make sure you lift up your pressure foot and just get all those little pieces out of there. Throw them in the trash. I'll show you kind of what I've got going on so you can see my trashy sewing machine. I don't know. Some people call strippers trashy, so we'll just call it my trashy sewing machine. Now, my cover stitch machine was worse. And you get it up back here and everywhere. It's all over the place. And this usually kind of affects how you, you're sewing. It will affect your stitch. Do you see there's more lint I grabbed out of there? Oh, there's a big bunch of it right there. We're just going to get it all out of the way. And for the intent of this video, I'm just going to do this. But you could also take these screws out and then replace them and clean it up. And you can't always see where it's at. You might have to get on the side or underneath. I've even got it over here on the side where these mechanisms are. It's kind of all over the place. And once again, I am not a sewing machine repair person. I've just learned that this helps improve your stitches. The other thing is, is you're gonna take your can of air and make sure you have the pointy piece and just put it underneath there and blow it out. Get rid of that lint as much as you possibly can. Now, I wish I would have shown you on my cover stitch machine because you would have been able to see more lint, but I think you get the gist of it. I'm going to get rid of that greasy, oily lint, and I'm going to put my throat plate back on. It just kind of pops right back in there. Make sure your pressure foot's up, and you're going to put your screws in. I'll do it correctly this time. And then push it back into place after you're done. This one didn't go in so straight. Once this is in place, you can go ahead and let your pressure foot down. So 
So take that paper towel and wipe all the way around and underneath because um, if you have an industrial machine, it's gonna be oily. So let's see if this fixes my tension issue and we will sew through. This is my straight stitch machine. Let's turn it around a little bit. This is the inside of the fabric, but I found it easier to see the stitches so that I could show you what it looks like. Let's lift it all the way up. And let's see, looks like it's a lot better. I think that did improve the issue. I hope you found this troubleshooting video helpful and educational. I really appreciate you watching. Um, check me out at basictees.com for my sexy PDF sewing pattern. And until next time, stay sexy.